This video is going to teach you the basics of protein synthesis. Protein synthesis has two steps. The first step is transcription, which occurs in the nucleus. And during transcription, um, messenger RNA copies the DNA code. The second step is translation. During translation, the protein is made at the ribosome. Translation involves the um, messenger RNA and transfer RNA. All right, let's begin our process. So we are going to start with a model, a paper model of DNA. <clears throat> DNA is in the nucleus, and when the protein is ready to is, is going to be made, the DNA will first unzip. So that's the first thing that happens in transcription. So the DNA unzips. Okay, the weak hydrogen bonds between the bases allow that to happen. And next, um, messenger RNA is going to come in and bond along one side of the DNA molecule. In our lab, um, it tells us to use the right-hand side of the DNA as its um, template. So the messenger RNA is building itself. M messenger RNA, mRNA, is a single-stranded molecule. It's the red. And <clears throat> it basically just copied the code from the DNA by bonding in a very specific um, pattern. Okay? So now that's transcription. Transcription is when messenger RNA copies the DNA code. And it's going to now bring that code out of the nucleus. So the next thing that happens is... The messenger RNA breaks away from the DNA, and I'm going to slide it out of view just for a minute. So messenger RNA stays intact, goes out of the nucleus, <clears throat> the DNA zips back up, and for the sake of my video, let's say that um, the nucleus is all safe and sound and the DNA is in there. I'm going to move it out of view right now. And let's pretend that we got a ribosome sitting right here. So now the messenger RNA arrives at the ribosome. And now translation can begin. Translation is the second step of making the protein. Here's my messenger RNA. It's in the correct sequence according to what the DNA said. And now comes the very large transfer RNA molecules. Each tRNA has three bases and it's carrying an amino acid, okay? So the tRNA will bond along the messenger RNA wherever it can match up, and that's how it knows which sequence uh, the amino acid should be put into. So here's my other transfer RNA molecule coming in. It's going to bond. Now, this is translation. I've got messenger RNA. I've got tRNA, each carrying an amino acid. In real life, if you can imagine that this messenger RNA is hundreds of bases long, and so there would be many, many transfer RNAs carrying many different amino acids. And um, every time an amino acid is dropped off, the transfer RNA bottom part actually goes out into the cytoplasm to go get another amino acid. This amino acid will bond to the one next to it, this transfer RNA will take off and go into the cytoplasm. And again, if this chain were hundreds long, I would have many, many amino acids. Right now I just have two, but if I have more and more amino acids bonded together, I will have a protein. Once that protein is made, um, the protein will fold into a specific shape so that it can do its particular job and uh, it will be exported by the cell. Once that protein is made and translation is over, uh, the messenger RNA simply breaks down, falls apart, and the cell goes on to function. So that is protein synthesis, and it all started with our DNA molecule which has the original genetic code to make a protein. So that 
is protein synthesis.